Welcome to DarrenKagan.com. I'm Darren Kagan, and this is the place you come each day to experience stories that show the world what's possible. You have met my three-legged cat, Tripod. Say hi, Tripod. We've also had Henry the three-legged cat on this website and Cassie the three-legged dog. Well, Pod, get this. I think we are upping the ante here at DarrenKagan.com because today we have the story of a two-legged dog. Yes, a two-legged dog. So you might be wondering, how do you raise a happy and healthy two-legged dog? Well, apparently, you gotta have faith. Wait till you see what pops out of this car. Don't adjust your screen. That is indeed a two-legged dog walking across the way. Her family is just as amazed as you are. We had no intention of teaching her to walk. But the Stringfellow family soon found you don't put limits on this dog. The story starts about four years ago. Son Reuben discovered a mother dog smothering one of her puppies. He was thinking, oh my God, this, this dog's trying to kill this other dog. So he just kind of grabbed her and put her down his uh, shirt and brought her home to us. It was only then the family discovered this three-week-old puppy was missing one front leg and the other was deformed and useless. The vet was not encouraging. She did say that the prognosis was not good and that it was going to take not only a lot of time, but a lot of effort, a lot of money, and then just uh, a lot of prayer because this was just a situation that was probably going to be not so good. If she continued to walk on her uh, chin or her chest, she was going to rub an abscess in it and it would eventually become infected and possibly die. The string fellows thought they had the answer. Our intention was to teach her to uh, hop like a rabbit. We actually had to physically uh, pick her up, literally pick her up, and sit her on her, on her back legs every, every moment, every second. And if she'd flop down, we'd pick her back up. And if she would stay up for a couple of seconds, we'd reward her with, with praise and with uh, gummy bears. And we used uh, peanut butter, and she loved it so much. She would do anything for peanut butter. So she uh, followed us. The family thought hopping would be enough. One of the corgi puppies took it a step further, nipping at this puppy's heels. And she just ran after him foot over foot. This was uh, March 22nd, so it was exactly uh, two months from the day that we received her. And she just wow. walked on her own. And that's how this special dog learned to do this. Not just hop, but walk, step by step. It was time to give her a special name. But Laura suggested that if she did walk on her own, you know, if that day ever came, that we named her Faith because you could walk by faith. And uh, it sounded like a pretty good thing. And so we agreed that if she was actually able to do it, that we would name her Faith. And so she is, Faith. 37 pounds of boundless joy and energy. Does all that dog stuff, chasing ducks, splashing in water. It's all the family can do to keep up with Faith. She came to the family just as they were healing from a difficult divorce. The family will tell you she has saved them as much as they saved her. We were able to stop worrying about our big problems and work together as a family on a smaller project. It was really a beautiful thing to see uh, one child take over for the next child without even having to be asked and just really trying to help the, the puppy and our, our goal was the same, our, our mission was the same without even speaking it. Faith's mission now, inspiring books and traveling the world, showing people what's possible. The message that I think faith uh, shows the world is that you can do anything you want to do, need to do, uh, just by having faith and by having the perseverance, sometimes the courage in yourself. This is what it looks like to be in, in with perseverance on two feet when you're supposed to have four. You don't have to be complete to be complete. Faith is one busy dog. She expects to have another book out by the end of the year. Faith, Tripod, and I are wishing you the best of luck. I bet Pod takes tomorrow off, but I promise you I'll be right back here tomorrow with another inspiring story that shows the world what's possible, and I hope you'll join me right here at DarrenKagan.com.